modern idolatry. Let's look at Colossians 3 verse 5. Colossians 3 verse 5 says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. Modern idolatry. Colossians 3 verse 1 tells us to seek those things which are above, where Christ is. In verse 5, we're told to put to death the passions that come from below. Fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire. Then the Lord added the sin of greed or covetousness to the list, calling it idolatry. That verse changes our view of idolatry. It's not just bowing down to a small carved statue or a pagan worshiper offering incense at a shrine to Buddha. It's the act of becoming too attached to the material things of the world, falling more in love with the things on earth than the things in heaven. This has nothing to do with how much money you do or don't have. A poverty-stricken person can covet just as much as a billionaire. That's a good point. It has everything to do with what's at the center of our affections. Is it Christ? Is it things above? Or is it things below on this earth? Make sure Christ is at the center of your life and that your love for him eclipses everything else. That's a really good one because so often we think of just idols, like I said, of carved images. And we think of people in temples bowing down or incense or with Buddha and all of that. But guess what, my friends? I'm telling you again, this is it. Put the phones away. Don't be attached and addicted to your phone because that is definitely an idol. I know I'm you know, on my phone probably more than I should be too, but you can use your phone for good. I know every day I listen to um, Turning Point with Dr. David Jeremiah. You can listen to whatever, and I do that while I'm walking. So I'm not on my phone. I'm walking and listening for 20 minutes to a sermon every day. So that's five sermons a week, plus on Sunday I get another one, and Bible class, and Bible class on Wednesday. So, you know, there's lots of ways that you can use your phone for good, but you can also just let it take control of your life. So I hope today you don't let the idol of money or your phone or trying to climb that corporate ladder or food or clothes or anything get in the way of your love for Jesus Christ. You need to love him first and foremost. Always make sure that he is your first love and then nothing else will ever compare. Have a good day, not practicing idolatry, but putting your love only in Jesus Christ. And remember, my friend, how much you matter. You matter to God. You matter to me. You matter to Mandy. You matter to your friends and family. You have a purpose in this life. So hope today you go out there and live out your purpose and let people know. Stay away from idols. Show them the real Jesus Christ, the only one worth worshiping. Have a great day doing that, my friend, and I will see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you lean on God's strength and have a fantabulous day. Thank you.